Hey guys, so for this week's video of flash fiction, I'm going to read a story that I'm actually turning into a longer piece. Uh, the, this one is a flash fiction called A Web of Ink and Paper. Giles sits in a corner near the back, donning a dark fedora. He watches as a man enters the coffee shop and places an order for a grande americano waits for the man to hand over his money and receive his change, follows the man with his eyes as he makes his way to a seat near a distant window. The man is not actually a man at all, but something else, something dangerous. Giles reaches into his pocket, produces a faded leather notebook and silver fountain pen and begins to write. He works carefully, starting with the coarser, superficial details and slowly working his way toward the more refined. They are special words. Words of power. Giles does his best to capture the essence of the man, though even words such as these are only crude approximations. They reach inside and bind him, pair with flesh and bone and spirit tearing him out of space and time like a coupon from the local newspaper. It isn't until he's nearly finished that the man by the window notices, and by then he's already fading like an overexposed negative. He bolts from his seat and stumbles backwards, opens his mouth in shock, ambles toward Giles like a wounded soldier. The patrons of the coffee shop have taken notice. Some scream, others run. More than a few gawk stupidly, cell phones at the forefront. God, thinks Giles, these are the creatures he's sworn to protect? Before the man can take ten steps, he's already disappeared, torn from the fabric of reality and bound forever in a web of ink and paper. Giles caps his pen, closes the leather notebook, and strolls toward the door, ready to tackle his next assignment.